All right, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Ice Part of the Show series in the Me 22 PS5, episode 344. It's an all-star game episode. Yay! Uh, it's Alex's eighth all-star game. After committing in the home run derby again, he was put out first round. Who is shocked? We are hitting in the three-hole. Mackenzie Gore is the starting pitcher for the NL. How about that? That's two years in a row, actually, he's done that. Hunter Green for the AL. We will look at all-stars after the game. But Alex has returned to the All-Star game. He is now an eight-time All-Star in his career. Building up that Hall of Fame resume. He's already pretty much a Hall of Famer. He's a five-time MVP, guys. Really? We still talking about it? And he's hunting for number six, honestly. Who is that? I don't, I don't even know who that was. We are in Seattle for this All-Star game. Of course, it looks gloomy and dark in Seattle, as it most of the time is. I don't know why I just wanted to go in on Seattle there for a sec. It just tends to be kind of rainy there. From the home of the Mariners since 1999. But it is packed. Here in Seattle, MLB The Show brings you the MLB All-Star Game. It's the National League All-Stars taking on the American League All-Stars. With my partner Chris Singleton. All righty. I'm John Man, Shum. It still says LA 2022. That is not true. Call the All-Star game. Well, we've done a lot of Here are the lineups for both. We'll look a deeper dive into those year, after the game. Hunter's free to on the other side. I don't know why I'm so intrigued with them. Uniforms on. Them interacting with one another, you realize just NL is sitting it is. first. It's going to be a great one. It's Bobby Wood Jr. playing in an All-Star game. First pitch coming your way next. I wonder if he's the best player on that team. Just a little bit away from first pitch. Hunter now Green is the pitcher. In this one. Hunter Green. How about a report on him, Chris? Yeah, and when he's on. on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit Green can throw guys, some heat. Have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though. Hunter Green, of course, started his career with the Cincinnati Reds. He is now with the Mariners, so the hometown kid is starting. Uh, he is a 92 overall. He's always been good, um, but especially good since uh, he finally calmed down in 2026. Kind of questions if he was ever going to be anything with a 5A DRA, but then 393, 344, 317, 368, and now this year, 2.79. He is really come into his own he's had a career era a low four good for hunter green for finally getting a gun next offering is in for he's got alex at two strikes now up in the zone i don't think he recognized it i'm sure he'd love to have that one back three two tries to check his swing now we'll look to third alex is a i think a one-time all-star game mvp not that those are actually given out in the game but I gave it to Alex because he was dominating oh, one you game. You could draw walk in the bigs if we gave He'll walk in his first step out. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting it's be close. on me, yes, I think I could draw We are out. out there. Had to try it. Here's Juan Soto, a guy who makes an Mackenzie Gore got shredded in his last field. start. And here it comes. And he's starting to get shredded here today, but a big double play. We'll get him a couple outs. Nice. All right. It's 4 nothing AL. Reed Detmers of the Los Angeles Angels on the mound. Former teammate of Alex's. Kicks and deals. Off foul. That was a good one to hit. Just didn't time it. We will play this and then we'll hop into some uh, actual games. Towards the end of the episode. That's tough. One, two. Wow, that's not a strike. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two balls, Big two sweeping strike. curve. Reed Detmers has been good this year. And they have waited for him to be good for a while. He's a 91 overall. Last year was his best year of his career, and that was only a 4-2-4, but he's at a 2-8-5 this year. He's striking people out. He's getting a great whip now, a 2.4 FIP. And he's finally kind of coming into that pitcher that the 
Angels have really needed him to be for a while that he has not been. But the Angels are struggling bad. They kind of knew they would without Alex. That's going to be a fly out. Losing Alex could only make them worse. And, well, it did. They're looking at back-to-back -back losing seasons, no playoffs. Which is something that didn't really happen with Alex, but Alex also didn't make the playoffs with the Padres. So. There's a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And that one is Time to in the uh, just flew it out to right center, one. and that'll end. Fifth Alex's three plate appearances have not resulted in anything good. And there it goes. 5 threes, your final. Nice. Okay, whatever. Two flyouts to center. And now we hop back into some normal games, but let's check the All-Stars first and kind of just look over. It is a good place to, like, really check on who's being, you know, like, who's a stud in the league today. It's under rewards, right? Yeah, so out in the Nash, or let's do the AL first. Why not? Hunter Green, Clark Schmidt for the Yanks. Uh, Jack Flaherty. Jack Flaherty's thrown a while. Yeah, he's at 2,200 strikeouts on his career. This is a, like, if he can keep this going, this is a potential Hall of Fame career. Because he's been great, man. I mean, he's been really good. He's got a 40 war for a pitcher. There's a chance Jack Flaherty could see the Hall of Fame. And they've got him signed for a long time. So he's going to pitch till t Jack Flaherty might be a Hall of Famer. Julio Franco has developed finally into a pretty solid pitcher. Uh, Reed Detmers, Logan Allen, and then Harper McCollum. Uh, relief, yeah, whatever. Garrett Gallagher still doing his thing. Best reliever probably in baseball. Uh... Then Joey Bartz, the catcher. Andres Fritas is a Yank. Uh, he signed a nine-year deal. Jeez. After a 38 homer season, he's got a 1075 OPS. He's made 10 errors already on, on the year, but uh, 4.8 war this year. Fritas, honestly, like truly, is probably the next closest after after Alex to be a Hall of, being a Hall of Famer as a young guy. At 27 years of age, he's got 275 home runs, 1,100 hits. Probably be at like 400 by the age of 30, man. He's at 34 home runs already on the year. Just think about that. Um, then we got Luis Arias, uh, Luis Villarreal for the Royals, Josh Young, Wes Kath, Jalen Palmer somehow. <laughs> uh, Bobby Witt Jr. is now a Yank, and he is really freaking good. Um... Finally had, uh, he got a decently sized contract worth a good bit of time. He He's obviously phenomenal in the field, but he finally hit for something uh, in his first season with the Yanks, and he hasn't slowed down this year. 933 OPS, uh, 5.7 war on the season. Yeah, yeah Bobby, Witt's, Bobby Witt is good at baseball in this game. Uh, oh, and Wander Franco is very good at baseball as well. Gets a lot of hits. Um... High war player because he uh, always fields so well. 39.0. Dom Smith is your starting left fielder. Corbin Carroll is your starting center fielder. A very highly touted Diamondbacks prospect. In real life, getting his opportunity now. Uh, Trent Grisham and then Jaron Duran for the uh, Angels has been hitting well all year. No Mike Trout. Not even playing. Juan Soto out and right. Yeah. No shock there. And the NL, Mick Abel, Dustin May, Casey Mize, Trevor Rogers, and Mackenzie Gore. Mick Abel's been on his stuff this year. Uh, Richard Crump is the relief pitcher. And then here are your guys out of the pen. Francisco Alvarez <coughs> makes it. Uh, no Luis Campuzano, sadly, but <coughs> seemed like... Alvarez just kind of ran ran away with it this year. 918 OPS. Yeah, he's been playing really well. He's a great fielder in this game. Not a great hitter, but he's been great at hitting this year. Uh, then Henry Davis for the Rockies. Yeah, 676. Spencer Torkelson 
makes an all-star game in his first year in L.A. He's really knocking the cover off the ball just like he did uh, in the last couple of years with Detroit. Finally turning out to be that prospect, that hitting prospect, <clears throat> excuse me, that hitting prospect everybody thought he was going to be. Uh, Miguel Sano as well. Jazz Chisholm is your D-backs second baseman. Uh, Freddie Soto makes an all-star game. He's been playing for a while. Another guy who uh, is really, really talented. Really good player. Mike Logan. Augustin Costa is an all-star. Yeah, let's go. G Augustin, in his rookie year, makes the all-star game. Of course, Alex Barker, Fernando Tatis, O'Neal Cruz. So three, four all-stars from the Padres as Eloy makes it. Eloy, both Eloys make it. <laughs> Eloy Cabrera. Interesting. But Eloy Jimenez has been raking his whole career, man. And he signed on a, until 2032 with the Dodgers. So Michael Harris finally got his opportunity. The dude's, like, incredible in real life. I don't know if he's going to duplicate what he did, but... He's played good this year. Luis Matos. Uh, yeah. And then Kyle Tucker starting in right. Dylan Carlson out there as well. Carlson, another one of those guys for the Dodgers that just has been so consistent in producing. And they've got him for a while. And I don't see him really going down anytime soon. He's got great hitting stats. Good in the field. A perfect pickup for them. All right. So those are your all-stars for the year. Uh, who do we have next? It's the Cardinals, right? Yeah, on the road. Let's go hit them. That is not Alex Parker. <laughs> that was Justin Upton or something. Maybe it was Michael Harris. That's probably who it was, um, considering that's who we looked at last. But Lauren Madden on the mound for us and Jose Urquidy. I haven't seen him in a while. Alex for the Cardinals, Parker, the we lead 2 nothing. Race. Good job. Parker, Augustin Costa. Second half of the season starts now. We have inning. got to produce. To some more We've got to win games. We are seven games above 500, five above the Dodgers right now. It's all about winning episodes. Good start with an Augustin Costa two-run bomb. Either that or back-to-back -back homers. That one misses in the, dirt. the latter is more likely. I bet Adam walked. Uh, yeah, he did. So Acosta hits his 12th. Knocks in two. Good job. It's upstairs, so we are full. Wouldn't that be a good way to start? Two run shot and then a walk. More than that, a full count walk. Had him 0-2. Well, Alex fights right back in the at-bat. Takes his base. It's 3-2. That's downstairs. Ty France on first base. Tatis waits. First offering. He struck him out. But Alex will take a bag. This is Kyle Lewis. Here is Kyle the Lewis. Has been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Now a check on him at second, back safely. Well, with this many pitches thrown, a hit away from a three nothing lead. The other team a really good look. We are working here, Kitty. Get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss. Get into that dugout and hit the reset button. We'll take again, so two two. And a pitch. Foul ball. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Comes a 2-2. Two 2-2. -two. Two -two. Foul ball. Fouls one off. Urquidy picks over Parker dives back in right safely. back on the mound or pitch of the on second base up. so Lewis has really worked him here and Swing he strikes out the velocity so we're working that pitch right count that's the pros Luis here Campisano since the two run shot up for the Padres. and we'll see Luis Campuzano try to drive him in as a last hope and the sixth pitch of this at bat Pitch number 33 of the first, the top of the first, man. What a lengthy inning. 
and he dives back in safely. Campuzano is a former Gold Glove winner. I wonder if he's in that those talks again. I would assume so. A three-two. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. And it goes. It's just foul. Just missed that pitch number thirty-five and coming. Kicks and fires. Fouled off again. He's Padres. <laughs> hey Jose Urquidy here. We are just making him work. A very high amount. That's on the ground. Good play by France. He is great in the field. He's gonna get the first in time. It's two nothing. Padres lead. Urquidy throws thirty-six pitches, and we will trust Lauren Madden here. To keep us at this deficit. This is a good Cardinals team. On the ground is short, and it's through. That's for easily hit. through. Adam out and left. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. And now it's Luis Garcia. So we get one out. Garcia can fly. Nolan Gorman can't. This is ah. Uh, we should just get an out. One, two down. Back up. Ground ball left side. Oh, now he two. can't fly. This is going to be a double play. Beautifully done. And we are out of the and second 3 0. Back here in St. Louis. We lead off the, the third. Of the inning at the play. Alex Parker. The Alex. Way out in front. This guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this He goes right back to that spot. Beats us again, 0 2. Outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Lost us from 0 2 the first time. To imagine he might be more aggressive this time. Yeah, the right hander deals. It's 2 2. Wow, man, that ball could have been hit a lot harder than that, but okay. Hey, second half of the year, Lauren, it's your half. Jordan Walker has finally made it to the MLB for him. We make the play. I don't know what his overall is, but he's leading off for a very good team, so... That's it well. Deep left center. It's, of course, caught. Goodness, man. It's been a tough, like, month or so for Alex. Just not been able to get stuff to drop. That's a hit. <laughs> Why even throw it? Still a great day from Lauren Madden so far. I say so far because I don't want him to ruin it. We are 0 for 2. That hits the oh, one. And it's one and one. Or 1 1. Sorry. <laughs> and another ball. 2 1. Man, I want to get back to some play playoff baseball in this series. Swings and I think misses. we can get there. And the count is even 2 and 2. And we should get the playoffs started. Where the playoffs are going to come right around the time MLB 23 comes out. So, yeah, big part of the series. A big part. Big time on the channel is what I should say. 3-2. And he walks us, so it's like our second walk of the day. And he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And a swing and a miss. Tatis is down on strikes again. Now two away. So digging in now for Here's Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike it. We there. just get in there. It's a stolen base. Number 34 Chris for Alex. With a difference maker on that play just got in there. Yeah, with Statcast's help, we see his So our second bag of the day. Base, and that's a big number. I mean, man. Make a bad throw. Really made his athleticism work for him. He will not. It's 5 nothing. three and innings left. Come on, let's hold it. Digging in is the switch in again. Lauren Madden has looked really good today. 
telling you, it's his, hit, it's his half of the year. He's having that Alexander Vizcaino turn, and that is going to help it a lot because that's going to get him out of the eighth scoreless. How about that? Alex Parker will hit next. I'd love a hit. That one's in there on one. Tough one to get a hit on. That can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. They just out fly it out. Brings it in. That's out number two. We win this one 5-2. Great day for Lauren Madden. Does give up two there at the end, but it is what it is. And a good start to the second half. As we will start 1-0. 1-0. and Shane Bieber on the mound. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. I think it is, uh, what's his face on the mound today? Johnny Castaneda. My least favorite Padre, I think. Actually, Justin Lang. Pretty close, but Justin usually just puts games out of reach. Johnny loves to just that give up is. massive amounts Two of runs. 2-1. Uh, it's not boating well today. We're facing Shane Bieber. That one in for a 2 2 not two. ours. Good eye right there. We are full. Two outs. Holy cow, man. I cannot get it going. I, it's just not happening right now. Well, and it's immediately bases loaded. France doesn't run great. That's beautiful. Line drive to short and caught. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's All right, two down. A nightmare scenario. They score one. Back to the top of the lineup. Jordan Walker, the next to hit. You'll one. On the ground, two ball. Quickly to second for one. Return nice turn. All first. right. Got him. Double play. Come on. And welcome back. And two nothing. Here is Alex Parker. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the oh, man. Well struck. Leaps it oh, it's off his glove. And, and, and we are going to have a leadoff triple here for Alex. Nice. Okay, I thought that was a routine flyout. We'll take our 12th triple of the season. Let's get a run back here. And Tatis just... Has not been good with just like hitting a fly ball in this case. Like you just got to score a run at least. Now we already have two strikes on Kyle Lewis. Not good. He gets soft contact. He does walk, but now double play set up. He's making things difficult for himself right now. They do not have the speediest runner up of the plate. Get out of this, but he's gonna have to buckle down right here. Base hitter fly out. Oh, yeah. Runner on third, nobody out. We're looking to waste it. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Right hander kicks deals. And that one is. Sanchez got a piece, and it's caught. That's embarrassing. Here's Nolan Gorman. Three nothing. They just add another and another and another on Castaneda. Three two. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Lead Gonna right have more second, here. Two on and nobody out. Now it's the shortstop. They do Alex not. But Parker. it's still three nothing. In the air, out oh, come right on, center. dude. Burdick. As this one sized up, and it's caught for the out. I feel more on it than it gives me credit for. All set to start Six to one, they're going to even the series. So digging in now for San Diego, Alex Parker. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Shoot. Crazy good pitching. 
That one missing inside. Up the middle, we'll take a hit. Thank you for not popping it out or catching a 100 mile per hour, not 100, but 90 mile per hour pitch right back at you. So, man aboard. So we have a two hit day. Tatis waits. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. No throw. Save nice. A second. They don't throw, so it doesn't count as a stolen bag. The pitch. Runner goes again. There's a the ball. So we'll take third. No throw. Safe at third. It's a stolen base. Parker at third with nobody out. Here we go again. Third base, nobody out. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three Pops two. Pops it way foul and three two. Not that scoring Alex would help, but it would have kept us in the game a little more. And ball four, two Maybe aboard. sparked a sparked oh, something. A swing and miss right there. Well, it's not over yet. And the base pitch. runner is on. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that wall. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed. Kyle Lewis has a solo shot. Doesn't know what's coming next. Swing he strikes out here, though. Out. And there's one away. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Luis Campusano. I guess we hope for game three. It's foul. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat. Very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Broken bat and it's popped up. And there are two. The bat outs. goes as far as the ball. You know that's not a good thing. So once again, run around third, nobody out, and we have squandered that again. The pitch. That one fouled off two and Lots two. of good foul balls. Good job, guys. Belton fires and fouled off. Why don't I just try to steal home? Two two down. Stays alive. Two two the pitch. Just a slow ground ball Hogan. this time. Throw to first. Okay. Impressively, no outs, outs on third twice, and we don't score them either time. And they will even this series up at 1 1. So here's the rubber match, and we are throwing our ace, Brian Cabrera, and Matthew Liberatore, who's been great all year. Great. Last time out, it just seemed like he wasn't trusting his stuff. He fell behind in the count, walked a number of guys. Today, he's got a last game of the episode here. And here it comes. Ball one there. Well, this it's is a one big one. Time matchup right now. And stop what you're doing, folks. Watch this because you have two of the game's best going a Cy Young candidate and an MVP candidate. Look out. Two one. Foggy day in St. Louis. That misses. And a count is three. Seven out, so three one. Pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's we'll take ball four. So two out base runner. Come up with it. One of the things about that two Alex always starts to take a bag, but three two is the count. Dealt to us. Lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the Yeah, if you can get an extra base hit, I'm scoring here. Nando. Liberatore throws over. Parker back on a dive. Even a gap that they can chase down. Parker off of first with two Before gets to the wall. Might have a chance. That one lifted. That's to popped out. Okay, moving under it. So Tatis flies out, and that'll end the first. Alex's walk means nothing, and it is Bryant Cabrera on the mound. Here we go. The roller coaster begins. Swing and a ground ball out to short. 
Parker gloves it. Rolls across the diamond. One down. One up, one down. Who knows? We might make some moves at the trade deadline. Back here at Bush Ones. Stadium. And here's the veteran outfielder, Tyler did we McDonough. even it? Yes, we did. On the ground to the left. Parker collects. All over it. One down. To first. That's one out the bottom of the second. And the batter will be the short Two down, one on. Parker. In the first pitch, upstairs. Misses the ball one. Off of 296 two assists. Dang. That misses the zone. It's, and it's 2 0. Two two and now the lefty. And a foul ball. Makes the mm. count 2 and 1. 2 1. Always the foul balls, man. And there's a ball. That misses, so 3 1. Bringing up Tatis with 2 on might not be a bad idea. 3 1 now. And that's so what's going to happen. He missed upstairs. So, a two out walk again for Alex. That's going to move Placencia to second. Here's Tatis with a chance to do some damage. Nope. He's blown a lot of chances here lately. So, one out, nobody on. Here's Nolan Gorman. One down, base is empty. Cabrera trying to get through the three, four, five this inning. Oh, he's through the three and the four now. Gathers and throws to first. And Pisano hustling over to back him up. How about that? Man, it's three to one. Of course it is. Man, we just cannot get a hit right now. The wind of the pitch. I say that. We had two hits last episode. Right Not here. To Fly out, of course. And, and we did tie it. Nice. Cabrera looking to get through the sixth here. Turn it over to the bullpen. Give us a chance. And he does just that. Ball on the ground. Alex has it. Into the sixth. Let's, let's hit, boys. Come on. Stepping in for San Diego, Alex Parker. Now that Alex Parker. Slapped foul. Mm. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Nope. Next one, one misses. One. And the count even one and one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And two one. I wonder one. if he's going to throw to us here. If he puts one in there, I'm crushing it. Well, it's got to be ours. And he walked us. So, three walks on the day for Alex. And Tatis is once again going to have an opportunity. He homered in his last at bat. But with runners on, he has been abysmal. Squeezes it, and that will end the inning. It's tied at threes, and we trail four to three now. Of course we do. Last chance for Alex here. Righty on the mound. Outside. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So... He's got it. Oh, we lose the series against the Cardinals. Who blew it? Dennis Santana. I can't even blame him. Well, we didn't lose because it's a four-gamer. Maybe we'll come back. Oh, gosh. It, it begins, man. We're going to blow this thing against the Dodgers. It's not looking good. Lead is at five. Okay. It didn't move. It didn't move. Five-game lead. Giants are trying to work back into a D-backs as well. Well, they're both on losing streaks. Rockies have won three in a row, though. And once again, it's division or bust because we're not in a wild card spot here. Wow, the Brewers are really smoking them. All right. We have Mackenzie Gore on the mound for the next one, at least, versus Walker Bueller. 
Uh, and then Detroit, San Francisco, D-backs. Yeah, we got to win those games for sure. But that'll do it for today's episode. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Alex Parker, episode 344.